All right, welcome everybody out there in Twitch and YouTube land. We are going to be speedrunning Cuphead again, but since it's been a very long time since I've speedrun this last, I'm not doing the all-flags category. Instead, I'm doing a very ambitious category that, as far as I can tell, I haven't seen anybody else speedrun this category. I'm doing 300% all S&P ranks. People definitely speedrun 300%, but for that, you don't have to get the best rank on every single level. For this, we do. <laughs> so that's going to be tough. This is going to be a long speedrun. This is going to be a very tough speedrun. There's going to be lots and lots of death and lots of resets. At least, not resets of the whole stream, but resets of individual levels. Yeah. You don't have to lurk during this. It just won't be able to read and react to chat at the normal amount of time that I normally would. If I'm in the middle of a battle, I will not be focusing on Twitch chat. That's basically how it's going to go. Also, one cool thing is that... In the past, when I've speedrun stuff, I have needed to manually advance the splits as they go. No, I actually have some scripts installed, thanks to these Cuphead speedrun community, that it'll actually run automatically. If I end up getting the wrong rank, I might have to undo a split. But it should progress everything automatically, and I don't have to keep track of that, which is great. Alright, so the very, very first thing we're going to have to do is enter an already existing file, and we're going to do the fresh expert glitch. Basically, to get 300%, you need to get an S rank on all the boss fights, or at least in this category that I'm running. And you can't do that normally, because you have to beat the game in order to unlock Expert Mode, which means we would have to beat all of the bosses, unlock Expert Mode, then beat them all again, which would take forever. Instead, what we can do is a funny and very easy glitch of, we go into an existing save file where we have Expert Mode unlocked, select it, go back out, and then head back to the title screen. Then if we start a new file, we'll have Expert Mode unlocked so we can just get the S ranks as we go. So that's going to be the overall setup. We then delete this file, and I think I, we can play as Cuphead or Mugman. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to play as Cuphead. And here we go. Speedrun will begin. As you can see, the clock is green, but it's not going to start advancing until the load times are up, and it's actually playing the gameplay. It's called loadless. And the Cuphead speedrunners do that. All right, we get the potion from Elder Kettle. Then we got to clear the tutorial blueprint. Again, the clock stopping during the load times is intentional. It's not cheating. There we go. That was a good tutorial blueprint. And we just get the glitch to let us immediately go outside. So for, the, for those of you who have only seen the DLC of this game, the base game is also really good. You'll be seeing a whole lot of content today. Darn it, I'm still not good at that. If you press the buy button and the leave shop button at the same time, you can buy the item and also uh, leave the shop at the exact same time, saving a tiny bit of time like that. Of course, if you fail it, then you don't save time at all. I have some one-offs that I'll be doing in the coming week. I recorded them already. Alright. First run and gun stage. We've got to collect all the coins here. As part of 300%. We also have to go through this without killing any enemies with our weapons. That way we can get the P rank, which is pacifist. And despite this being the first run and gun, it's actually pretty difficult to do P rank. Oh, look, I already died. Yep, there's going to be a lot of deaths in this uh, run. I'm not amazing at the game. But hopefully this will help me get better at the game. Darn it. The annoying thing about the run and gun stages is that there is a lot of randomness in here with where the enemies spawn and how many spawn. Alright, toughest part of the level here. There we go. There we go, first level down. Alright, one death. Not great, but could be a lot worse.
So yeah, but for those of you who are wondering, 300%, so we need to get all of the best ranks on the levels, we need to beat all of the levels, we need to get all of the coins, all of the weapons, super arts, and charms, and we also need to upgrade to the Divine Relic. Which is going to be real tough when it combined with getting S ranks. But I'm excited. This is... It's a very difficult category, but this is also a very fun category. This is probably the most consistent of the run and gun levels. Alright, we've taken two hits. Oh, come on! The freaking flies were always in the way. That's really annoying. I figured if there was any run and gun stage I could do deathless, it would be this one. But no, of course, the flies were always in the worst possible places. Okay, that... <laughs> that is the problem with the hand-drawn levels. Sometimes it's going to be hard to see where the actual hit detection on the platforms is. And again, it's random where these pill bugs are going to be. So you got to be very fast on the reactions for when to smoke bomb and where. Darn it, missed the platform. All right. Okay, we should be good. Nope! Oh, no. This is bad. This is normally, like, my best run and gun level. I can do it really consistently, but of course, when the run actually matters, I cannot. Well, this will definitely be... There's always one freaking pill bug in the middle of all this who's on the ground. And he always is there when my dash wears off. Let's try this again. Um, what? Oh, that's such bull! The camera just locked! It never- what? I have never seen that happen before in all of my life. The camera is not supposed to lock in place, I was supposed to face through him and reach the end. I was literally at the very end of the level there. That's such BS. Why the heck would it- I've- why would it lock? I've never seen anybody have the camera lock there. This is a ridiculously slow start to the speedrun. Oh my, are you serious? Wow! Here goes. Putting the trouble in treetop trouble, I did not expect to get annoyed this early on in the speed. This is the easy part of the speedrun. Literally just all the bullets are moving on screen at exactly the worst possible time. So, no you don't. Alright, let's see if we can do this part without the camera locking up randomly and un unexpectedly. There we go! That's what's supposed to happen! Wow. That took... Over four minutes to get through. That's really bad. Well, it'll be easy to beat that in future speedrun attempts, I guess. Alright, now that we've got a bunch of money, we can head back to the shop. Doc, I put... 
push them at the same time? What do you want from me? I don't even know why I attempt this glitch. I literally push the buttons at the exact same time. Thank you. That <sighs> Such a small time save, and you lose a bunch of time if you miss it, so I don't know why I even attempt it. Here we go, mausoleum number one. This should at least be easy. Here comes a spooky bunch. See if we can get four ghost parries in a row. Okay, wow. Here comes a spooky bunch. And apparently if you fail at this, the uh, auto timer thinks that you succeed. It's very important that I get four parries in a row. Oh! Okay, here we go. There we go! Now we can speed this up. Here we are. Those four parries in a row we'll need for later on in the run to get a coin. Hey, Chalice. There we go, first super art. We'll be using this pretty much for the whole run. And now we go straight to the DLC aisle. So now we get to clear all of the DLC. <laughs> That's weird. The auto... The auto split did not update. I beat the mausoleum that time. Great, so that time is actually off. Cool, so apparently I beat the recipe for Miss Chalice in 17 seconds, which will never happen again. Love that. <laughs> Narrator, he did not love that. And now we fight all the chess pieces. Again, to get more money. That's a fun strat that I learned about. Really risky to do, because there is not a lot of room in between the pawns, but... Oh, that's so fun. That was a really good pawn time. The knight I also have some faster, albeit slightly riskier, strats for. This guy's got a huge hitbox at times. Alright, I gotta be careful. Oh, darn it! Oh, I bet he was one away. I thought he was one away already. Darn it. Got too greedy.
There we go. You have to parry him 20 times for him to get defeated. Alright, not the best time for the night, but eh, I'll take it. We're fun told. Off to the bishop. One of the simpler ones to deal with. Um, I love it when my dashes don't work. Get him! Oh my gosh! I first for a second there, I thought he had actually gotten a hit on me. Chalice's dash parry is very useful, but it can be inconsistent at times. You're gonna see that probably in the flying in the Howling Aces fight. All right, the Rook is my least favorite of the chessboard fights. It can either go really well or really poorly. Oh, I think that was the triple hit, which is great. Alright, cool, that actually went really well. <laughs> we were able to get a bunch of combos. <laughs> I'll just happily leave. <laughs> Alright, really good pawn and rook fights. Not great knight or bishop fights. So it all depends on how the queen goes. Okay, that was a really good queen fight. Yes! <laughs> At least for my standards, that's a very good queen fight. Cool, now we get all the king's money so we can buy a whole bunch of cool stuff. Buying good equipment early will really help us be able to S-rank the stuff. Also... Our first fights are against Glumstone and Mortimer, and they are two of the toughest fights to ass rank. So we're gonna need some good stuff. We buy the crack shot, and the charger, and the broken relic. Because we gotta get the uh, advanced relic pretty soon. Alright. Alright. Le up left. Up left, right. Up right, le right, left. Up right, right, left. Up right, right, left. Up right, right, left. I want to try to remember that. Up right, right, left. Up right, right, left. Up right, right, left. All right. Time for our first boss. I now have some new strats for Glumstone. We'll see how they work out. And I use the spread shot to, and try to take out the gnomes as quickly as possible. It's mainly the second phase that's super annoying. Oh, 
Alright, first phase went off without a hitch. That's great. Second phase is by far the toughest part of the fight. You gotta keep an eye on so much stuff. Okay. Well, we're able to take one hit. Darn it. There's so much stuff happening in that second phase. It's so difficult to get through. Unscathed, at least. I don't trust that. This is definitely not the fastest way of beating him, but it is a fairly fast way. And it's a lot safer than the actual fastest ways. That was bad. No! Oh, the, his, the hitbox on his hands as well. That is annoying. If he calls the geese when you're on two different platforms, yeah, not good. That should knock him out, right? Oh, no. Duck on it. How did that not knock him out? There we go. This is bad. I generally like having 4 HP going into the second phase, but I guess we have to play really well now. Ah, I don't even know what hit me there. I feel like so often in that second phase you can get hit and you don't even see what hit you. <sighs> I am very surprised I dodged it! <laughs> This is first phase down. No! What? Ah, I thought I shot those down. Like I said, Glumstone is definitely one of the toughest fights to S-rank. So we're starting out with the really difficult stuff. <laughs> I very clearly said to turn around. Don't know why you didn't turn around.
It's also annoying when the two platforms closest to him are both on the ground, or both not there, because that means you can't use the spread shot against him. Okay! That was dumb. I jumped right into that. The good news is, once we get to the third phase, I'm not going to say it's it's free, but the third phase is by far the easiest. <laughs> Thank you for the dodge roll. I can't believe I didn't die there! There we go! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hi, Kian Star 2, welcome. Sorry, I'm not able to read chat all the time when I'm doing the speedrun, but welcome, welcome. We are trying desperately to S rank Glumstone here. It was a lot easier said than done. <gasps> that was close. Thank you for the follow. Come on. Yes! <sighs> I mean... <laughs> I don't really know what you mean. You can play the game if you own it. And it does have multiplayer, but I'm... I don't play multiplayer. I'm doing a single-player speedrun. <laughs> Alright, there's our first S rank. I think that... I think that took slightly less time than it did in my practice, which is good. All right, now we switch over to the crack shot, and we head over to the uh, the second really tough fight, Mortimer Freeze. But I've picked up some new tips and tricks on how to S rank him, so he's going to be a lot easier than when I did it the, on my first stream. Um, was there an icy there? I certainly didn't see an icy there. There we go. Try to get a parry from him in the first phase if you can. I play a, I play a large variety of games. Ugh. Humongous Entertainment, randomizers, Nintendo games, all sorts. Playing backyard baseball right now. Ugh. Yeah, this move, you can just jump over it. Which makes it a lot easier to deal with. Darn it. I found one of the toughest parts about this fight to S rank is literally just the lack of parryable stuff. And also, he has some kind of unfair moves! What?! Why did he move all the way to the other side before he transformed? Like, here, I'm holding off on blasting him, because... Doggone it. That's bad. You really need to get beyond the parries, because he is very stingy with the parries at times. And we need free parries to S-rank him. Stupid popsicles. Ideally, you get one parry in his first phase, and then it makes the other parries a lot less stressful to grab. The problem is, he's one of those bosses that literally can just be like, Oh, I'm not giving you any parryable attacks. Uh 
Thank you, dodge roll. Oh, what? Okay, that's bad. So I need to get all three parries in this final phase. Because the popsicle melted right before I could grab it. That's not good. Well, his last phase is definitely the most consistent for parries. That's still a lot of stuff to do. And, of course, he does his parryable attack last. So we're going to have to take... It's going to take... Oh, wow. We are getting really unlucky with the parryable attacks. <laughs> I think his next one has to be one of the... Yep, here we go. So now we literally just have to stall out the fight until he decides to give us some parryable objects. And, of course, if we take too long, we won't S-rank it, because we run out of time. <laughs> hey, Marty, welcome. Alright, here we go. There we go! Wow, that was a really fast Mortimer freeze. Compared to what I, uh, <laughs> practiced on. It took me, like, 15 minutes to do it on my practice. <laughs> Low percent would be a lot easier than this. <laughs> Alright, now let's see if I can remember... the password. That's Miss Chalice. One of the playable characters. Okay, I think it was up left, right left. Booyah. Now we get to fight the angel and the devil again. And uh, they're going to be a lot easier than on my blind playthrough. They're actually a very easy fight once you get the hang of it. Miss Chalice is really good. She has an extra HP. She has an invincible dodge roll. Oh, they were about to die. This fight still hurts my brain, but it's a lot more manageable than on my first time. There we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just not right. Donkey Kong Thunder Energy is what it's all about. Oh boy, time for the worst boss fight now. This fight is absolute garbage, but it's a, I'm a lot better at it now. But this is one of those fights where Miss Chalice's dash parry can definitely show that it's not super reliable. Laser spawn definitely can hurt you. If you're if the plane is on the wrong side of the field and the laser spawn in a bad pattern, you're just done. Boy, I love that.
I also hate controlling the plane, but... Thanks for dashing, Per- Uh, <laughs> Chalice. Oh, oh, I see. So Diddy Kong is in Mario Strikers, but he's not in Mario Kart. Sure. They better add Diddy Kong to, as, to Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe as part of the DLC. I did the dash parry, but the dash parry just flat out did not work. That is the move I find it happens most frequently with. Which is why this fight is absolute trash. Well, one of the reasons. At least it happens early in the speed run, so that way it's not going to spoil your runs later on. And that was on me. I just am like, fire hydrant? What fire hydrant? Wow. All right. That's fine. I knew I was going to die to this fight a whole lot. I also hate the tennis balls, man. I was literally doing the dash parry and right into a parryable object and it just did not work. Cuphead developers, fix that hitbox. Make it so that you actually parry it all the time. Those fire hydrants are really hard to hit, even with the homing weapon. Cool, cool. Quick work of them. Once again! The freaking dash parry just does not work for that part. But you literally have to do it if you want to get through that. Let's try this again. We have full HP this time.
Cool. This part still sucks, but it's a lot more manageable with the proper control scheme. There, that time it worked. There we go! Oh my gosh, I hate that fight <laughs> a lot. One of the only fights in the game I actually really hate. Oh yeah, Splatoon 3. A lot of people have been playing that. Is it actually, like, significantly better than Splatoon 2, though? We get the Pineapple Mint. I don't think Pineapple Mint is a thing that exists, but alright. Oh boy, it's time for Clarabelle. <laughs> She is a lot easier to S-rank now that I know to use Chalice. Oh man, that was dumb. Oh shoot. That was dumb. I got hit twice because I just did my super art at the a little too late. Wow. Vacuum phase already. Alright. Sausage time! This phase can be real hectic. Oh, shoot. The stakes fly in such a weird pattern. Yeehaw! This is one of my favorite of the DLC fights, though. If n not quite my absolute favorite, but it's definitely up there. I think my favorite is still the Moonshine Mob. Or the final boss. All right, next one should be parryable. I like my steak pink, but not that pink. <laughs> All right, full HP for the last phase. I think we got this. There we go! 
<laughs> when you hear the yodeling part of the song, that's when you know you're almost out of time. <laughs> well, actually, never mind. We have two minutes, ten seconds, so... Never mind, you still have... Once the yodeling starts, you have about 30 seconds left. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that went pretty well. And we get to Desert Lambs. Alright. <laughs> Time for the Moran family. <laughs> Hey there, baby! Shoot. It was a little too slow on the uptake. Oh, come on! It didn't hurt me back when I first stepped on it. Come on. Oh, beautiful. I like having a super art when we start this phase. Oh shoot, dug on it. Okay, I've only gotten one parry this fight, so... This is one of those fights you really need to keep track of how many parries you've gotten. Because they're kind of scarce. Not over yet, though. We need to get two more parries. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One parry. Okay, well that's not great. And no parryable bits of mead here either. Oh shoot, no, doggone, no, no, no! I don't want to destroy the parryable mead. Oh my god, I hate it how when you take her out, she runs, like, on top of you to damage you. Even when she's blatantly running back to the center. That was on me, I got too close. Here we go. That's two parries for me. Darn it. These guys are giving me more trouble than Esther Winchester. That's a bad. It can be hard to duck down under the stage while you're running.
Hey there, baby! Not today. Sorry. Right, one more parry. Dog on you. Cool. All right. I think we need one more parry. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Bye, Moonshine Mob. <laughs> Now, no more making booze, all right? You're gonna make something better, like <laughs> Pillsbury dough. <laughs> Trademark. All right, that definitely could have gone better. Definitely had to reset a lot more than I would have liked. And we get the distillery dough. All right. <laughs> Time for the big man himself. Time for Salt Baker. <laughs> I do like the Salt Baker fight. When you're playing as Miss Chalice, it's a lot more manageable than with your Cuphead or Mugman. Doggone it. Salt Baker changed his hitbox so that way the freaking super missed. Okay, wow. That was a good first phase, though. No damage and first try. He's not the final boss, he's the bonus boss. We still haven't done basically any of the vanilla game. Okay, that was really dumb. Why the heck did I try to parry that? It was so good, though. Darn it. It's hard to keep track of four sets of projectiles on screen at the same time. Oh, you stupid fire! The fire is the underestimated bullet. It's always on screen, and you know, it, it's just always there, and you forget about it, and then it hits you. We didn't even have to use our first super art on him in his first phase.
Ah, oh, the stupid mint! The mint stays on screen for an eternity, even after it touches the ground. Still, I'm going to expect some resets anytime I fight Salt Baker. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Cool, that was a good first phase. If we can lure both of the fireballs to just kind of stay in the same spot over and over again, then that's pretty great. Oh no, that was a basically a no-win situation. There was mint in the air, and two peppercorns, and the fire. I still think the limes are my least favorite of the projectiles, though. They're fast and relentless. on it. Not the animal crackers, they're so annoying. Oh, okay, that was a really fast first phase this time, though. If you can hit him with the full brunt of a super art, then that'll definitely speed up the phase a lot. That was weird. This is the plan. <gasps> we keep getting the fire to switch sides. There we go! Alright. The remaining two phases are pretty easy. And this is why we bought the Chaser back at the beginning of the game. <laughs> and there we go! Thought Baker, you're no match for me! Rats, didn't get the sub two minutes, but that's fine. Still plenty of time to get the S rank. Alright, and that's all of the DLC aisle. <laughs> we clear the DLC pretty much immediately, because we get a bunch of really good stuff here. Alright, back to Inkwell Isle 1. Unfortunately, this is where fiends actually get pretty tough, because we now need to use the cursed relic we got from the Angel and the Devil in order to uh, level it up and S-rank bosses with it. So, now we need to S-rank stuff with the Cursed Relic, which is tough, because we're going to need to 
use random weapons, and get a whole bunch of parries. As you can see, we start with 1 HP, so we need to get our way all the way up to 3 HP, which requires us to parry a whole bunch of stuff. As you can see, we parried 3 fiends, so now we've got 2 HP. There we go, that's what we want. Spread shot. We also get less super meter for parrying stuff with this equipped. Ooh, yes. Converge, please and thank you. And there we go! I mean, the root pack is really easy anyways, because they're the first boss, but... <sighs> Not having to reset due to bad weapons is also very good. That gives us 2 out of 16 points for the Cursed Relic. And now we gotta do Ribby and Croaks, my favorite fight in the game, also with the Cursed Relic. I guess we don't have to, but I'm choosing to. Alright, we want the Roundabout or... there, yeah. Roundabout or the Crack Shot for this first phase. Shoot. Okay, cool. That was a good first phase. Times the lobber is actually pretty good. Oh, beautiful, and we get roundabout for this phase as well. That's exactly what we're looking for. Are we gonna one true? Are we gonna first shot Ribby and Croaks here? Ribby and Croaks are pretty difficult, especially with the uh, cursed relic. Oh, dog on it. Uh, no, I didn't. I uploaded it before I started streaming. Any love for the pea shooter out there? Another one of the rare times, the twist up is actually pretty good as well. Roundabout for this phase again. Excellent. There we go. That's what I want.
That actually went almost very bad. Oh, frogs again? Yes. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! That was my own fault. Well, this is bad. We keep dying to this fight, but we keep dying at the end when we lose the maximum amount of time. Crack shot also works for the final phase, but roundabout's a lot better. Oh boy, it's the tigers. Beautiful. I mean, that still took longer than I would have liked, but... You know, we did it, like, fourth try. I'll take it. This game is very difficult. <laughs> now we're off to fight me. I'm actually only somewhat kidding. Goopy Le Grande does kind of look like my avatar a little bit. I don't have pupils. Goodbye. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Goopy is probably the easiest boss in the game to S rank. So. I did not expect to die to him at all. He, he's based off of the slimes from Dragon Quest. Thankfully, in this run, we don't have to get either of the special filters, because that would be very stupid. We also don't have to talk to all the NPCs, just the, one that give us just the ones that give us coins. Alright, Hildeberg, my old nemesis. Let's see if I can S-rank you really quickly this time. Because Chalice definitely helps with that.
I can't believe I dodged all of that. This part is made a lot easier if you've got Chalice. Sagittarius phase is otherwise not fun. Yes, got rid of all the homing bullets. And we have all the parries that we need. Alright, this fight is going pretty well. Okay, we gotta be really careful here. There we go! That was close. Almost lost an H uh, one too many HPs there, but... First try Hildeberg S rank? Yes, please. <laughs> if my past self could see me now. Hildeberg was one of the toughest fights for me on my first attempt of getting S ranks. That's ex actually exactly the equipment we want. A great slam and then it's Okay, good. Oh, nope! Doggone it! Boomerang on the bottom, him on the top. That was not a good combo. There we go. Just waiting for that. Alright, now please don't give me the glitchy hitbox. Oh, look! I gave me the gl glitchy hitbox. Cagney has quite a few glitchy hitboxes, and I don't like it. But there we go. There's one or two deaths to Cagney, but not too bad. Beat him in a little more than a minute overall. Actually, no, a little more than two minutes overall. That went pretty well. Make sure you grab the coin here before you go to the next island, because in my practice run I had to backtrack there after the fact. It was not fun. Hey, Kane Dice. <laughs> wow, it took you kind of a while. I went to a whole different aisle and baked a tart with astral powers. <laughs> well, ain't that a pip? Time for the sweets. Alright, gumball machine. Not my first choice, but also not my last. Oh, 
Alright, cool. Oh, I think she was one charge shot away from death. Darn it. Alright. Thank you, Jelly Beans. Hi, <laughs> it's the candy corn. Also known as the enemy you better have either Chalice or Smoke Bomb for. There we go! <laughs> that last phase can get very hectic, if you have to deal with two heads on screen at the same time. Still, only one death to Baroness. Not bad. Oh no, now we have the actual worst fight in the game. Well, outside of the dog fight. But this is the worst when it comes to the S rank. Jimmy the Great. Ugh. Oh, I hate this fight. This fight is actually unfair for an S-rank fight. Let's hope we get lucky with his first attack. Alright. We got the one that we can actually dodge. Never mind. Even then, you still only have half a screen to work with. Right. Because we got the daggers, though, this phase is going to go on for longer. This phase is also nasty. Okay, cool. That took out the puppet. Hopefully we're home free now. <laughs> that was close, because we would have taken a damage if we hadn't killed him there. Wow, first try did Jimmy the Great. That is really good. <laughs> I'd say he is the toughest fight to S-rank. Because his first attack, he can do his free, one of free attacks, and if we got lucky with the dagger one, if you get the other attacks, you're just screwed. Wait, nope. I want smoke bomb. Time to shoo out the clowns! Although Beppy is probably my favorite clown out there.
Oh, I, I hate that phase so much. You can literally just take a hit from a balloon pumping up, and you have no way of predicting the balloon is coming. Not to mention, he can summon four of those balloons at a time, and if he does, there is nowhere safe. That is how you know my avatar is a bootleg. If they give my avatar pupils, they clearly don't know anything about my avatar. Oh, I thought I dashed in time. Bebby is one nasty fight. <laughs> He's kind of the point of the game when you're playing for the first time that'll really make you wake up and realize, oh yeah, the fights are getting a lot more difficult. And he's quite hard to S-rank as well. Oh, yes! We killed him just before he despawned. That roller coaster is definitely delayed. Yes! Alright, that was a good Beppy fight. We had to reset a few times, but they were always at the start of the fight, so that's fine. Yuck, yuck, yuck! So guys, remember those running gun stages that we did at the very beginning and haven't done in ages? Yeah, we're about to do the <laughs> the next one. And this one is also pretty consistent alongside uh, Treetop Trouble, so hopefully I can do this first try. Oh, that's dumb. That hardly ever happens. <sighs> oh, that's also bad. With only one HP, the last part's gonna be pretty tough. Oh, well, never mind. So there are four islands, if you include the DLC island. We're right now on Isle 2, so we've done two. We've done the first Isle and the DLC Isle. But Isle 3 has more bosses. Are you serious? They are not supposed to, like, ever come out of the bottom. I have practiced this level so many times, and it's like a 1% chance that they come out of the bottom. There are only six running gun stages, though, so after this, we'll be halfway through them. There we go. That was honestly a bad funhouse frazzle. We got really unlucky with the first car spawn twice in a row. But that's a P rank. We didn't hurt anybody. back there. Remember when we parried four ghosts in a row back in the first mausoleum? That means the juggler here is going to give us a number.
All right. Now it's time for the dragon. Another one of my least favorite fights, but not really because of the dragon himself. It's just because of the uh, platforms you have to fight him on. Oh, that's a great start, though. Getting all three th parries in the first... Oh, yes. That is really good luck to start the fight with. Because one of the hardest part of this fight's death rank is getting all the parries. Because you can only get them during his first phase. Yikes! That was almost nearly a very bad vein. Got to keep a close eye on the fireballs at the bottom, too. I don't like this part of the fight, either. If you shoot their fireballs by accident, they split into a bunch of really difficult-to-defeat fireballs. Oh, goodbye, Grim. Wow, first try Grim Matchstick. That is really good. He is one of the toughest fights in the game. I got... He was very generous with the parryable objects in the first phase. He is normally not that generous. <laughs> That's going to be a hard time to beat in the future. All right. Putting back on the Cursed Relic again. We have four points on the Cursed Relic. We're about to get another two and a half. By fighting Wally Warbles. Another one of the toughest s rank fights. But he's very consistent and there's tons of variable stuff here. So it's the fight that I choose to s rank with the, uh, with the Curse. Okay, thus far, it's been very hard to parry the, uh, these guys. We need lots of parries in this fight, so. There we go. Hi, Wally Jr. Pause and unpause to spawn his final phase a little faster. This is the part of the fight that's kind of unfair. Okay. We gotta hold off on the rest of the fight until we can get another parryable obje object. <gasps> that boot was too risky to parry. Here we go. Oh, that still wasn't enough because we didn't parry a bunch of stuff in the first phase. <gasps> okay, I really hope we did that in time. Yes, okay, we did. Two minutes, ten seconds. First try Wally Warbles. Even if it was a slower fight, that's really good. Wally is a really hard S rank.
Go to Mausoleum 2 to get the second super art. The time limit for pretty much every flight is 2 minutes 10 seconds, except for the really tough ones like, except for the really long ones like the final bosses and uh, Salt Baker. They have a much higher time limit, but I don't know exactly what that is because it's never been an issue. Even though we have Miss Chalice with us, she appears here to give us the second super art. Thanks, Chalice. We're never going to use this super art, but thanks. We took the shortcut behind the islands, so we get another coin. Then run and gun stage number four, Funfair Fever. My favorite run and gun stage. This level really captures, like, the 30s aesthetic well. Okay, that is not great. That's... Okay, no, I'm resetting right now. Getting through that whole level with 1 HP, definitely not easy. And the part that's really hard is at the very, very end. So I'm going to just take the time loss here. Get good luck here. No, we actually got the absolute worst possible luck. hot dog at the end. You can smoke bottom dash through him without taking damage, but it is extremely precise, so I'm glad I had an extra HP there. Alright, we're at, we're making good time. That is the second aisle complete. So we just have the final aisle left. Of course, it is the biggest and toughest of them all. Apparently it wouldn't let me buy the coffee. Whatever. I didn't need the coffee anyways. Okay. The the airplane dogfight is my least favorite fight in the game, but we're about to do my second least favorite fight in the game. I don't really know anybody who likes Rumor Honey Bottoms as a fight, but... Oh well. Hopefully it won't take too many resets. Pull up your pants, Cuphead. It's going to be one tough fight. But not really for the right reasons, more just because the auto-scroller and randomly spawning platforms tend to screw with you. For those who like this fight, I question your taste. Alright, now we're gonna go out of our way to not attack her. Because we want her to do her Wrecking Ball Bumblebee Bullet move again. 
as doing this will allow us to do a lot more damage during her second phase compared to her third phase. Because her third phase is quite obnoxious. Oh, God. You have to stay so high on the up on the screen, and you can't see where there are going to be platforms and where there aren't going to be, and that royally screws up the fight. Like, there are times where just, like, no platforms will really spawn on one side. And if that happens, good luck. Thank you. This attack is much nicer to deal with. Alright, yeah. This will make her last phase a lot shorter. Which is exactly what we want to happen. Because it's very hard to hit her in the last phase. Pfft, there we go! Yes! Yes! That phase normally goes on for ages, but because we were able to extend, extend her second phase. Yes. Okay, that was actually really good. That was a really good Honey Bottoms fight. Even though I died uh, once or twice. That was really, really good. We didn't even need the crack shot for the end. Alright, time for my least favorite running gun stage, Rugged Ridge. Let's hope this fight let's hope this uh, level goes well. This is a really good start to the level. Full HP for the annoying final part. I hate this part because it's an auto-scroller. You can go faster than the auto-scroller allows, but you literally will be at the far right side of the screen and cannot see anything coming your way. So I say heck no to that. Actually... Oh, wow! Okay, that's the best Rugged Ridge of my life. I actually went ahead of the guy. That is literally the best Rugged Ridge I've ever done. I never took... I only took one damage. Wow. I wish I could get that every time. Oh, man, that's going to be like, impossible to beat for me. All right. <laughs> Curse Drillet goes back on because we're fighting Dr. Call's robot even though he is infamous for being ridiculously annoying. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> that was our first actual death of the run, not just me resetting.
Alright, so far so good. Alright, now it's time for the infamous part of the level. Doctor calls bullet hell. At least there's lots of parryable objects during this. He's gonna die. Bonk! First try Dr. Call with the Cursed Relic. Yes! <laughs> okay, so the beginning of this stream, the beginning of this run, we did a lot of mistakes, but now we're just dominating in the difficult part of the game. Yes! Oh, this is fantastic! Soul contract for Dr. Call's robot. Now we can head on over here and deal with the third and final mausoleum. Get that final super art, which we will use exactly once. <laughs> and for those of you who are wondering, you cannot play as Miss Chalice in the, uh, Mausoleum levels. It wouldn't really make sense for Miss Chalice to appear to Miss Chalice to give herself a super art. Victory! That was a good mausoleum free! Actually, we, no, I actually don't think we even use Super Art number three. We only use Super Art number one. Alright, time for one of my favorite fights in the game. Verna Vermin in Marine Corps. <laughs> well, that didn't last long. <laughs> the tomato bombs can be a little difficult to avoid. Oh, yes, this is the move you want him to do. Alright, that was bad luck. <laughs> Ideally, I can get all three parries from this attack. Nope, just two. That's fine. This phase can be a little hectic. <laughs> it's Tom and Jerry! Okay, cool. This is how we get our last parry of the fight. There we go! 
best plot twist in the game. <laughs> That was a better plot twist than Salt Baker being evil. Next fight could be tricky. Cursed Relic for Briny Beard. Briny Beard's normally a really fast and easy fight if you can just spam charge shot, but he's one of the simpler fights to do with uh, the Cursed Relic, so. Ship got me good. You know what, I took a damage, I'll just have to get the 4 HP, which I definitely can do. Darn it! Thought I parried that. Ouch. Having to navigate him and the barrel while also parrying the stuff, definitely not easy. Darn it. Oh my gosh. This is another fight where you have to pay attention to a lot of stuff at the same time. That was dumb. Never parry something right underneath the barrel when you're at 1 HP. <laughs> Well, that was bad. <laughs> Shark, Barrel, and the Boat's Cannonballs were all on the same side. don't like dealing with the dogfish and the cannonball at the same time. No, thank you. Alright, he's got to be close to final phase, right? There we go. It's 
wondering when we would see the monstro phase. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. Oh, that was a waste of the super art. <laughs> There we go. Cursed Relic S rank Briny Beard. Took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but that's fine. Man, 151, that is a bad time for Briny Beard for an S rank, but if you have the Cursed Relic, it's understandable. Alright, final run and gun stage. Perilous Piers. Rugged Ridge is my least favorite, but this is a close second. I do love the background for it, though. All right, that was really good. That was a really good first part. Let's hope we can keep the momentum up. This part sucks as a, as a P rank. <laughs> Tiny little platform with all of these shrimp flying at you in random directions, or at random elevations, I guess I should say. No. No, oh, you stupid shrimp! They were flying in all the worst places. Oh, that was such a good run, too. Actually, this one's turning out even better. Okay, that was dumb. There's not even an advantage to parrying the shrimp. They really nailed the art style on this level, though. There we go. Final run and gun stage down. Alright, Twin Heart for Calamaria. Because this fight is just that stupid. <laughs> A brawl is surely brewing. Now Here we go! Darn it, was hoping you would start with the Pufferfish attack. Alright, this is basically the worst possible start. 
No parryable stuff yet. Oh yeah, this is literally the worst possible start. There are two different attacks she can do for that leave us with parryable objects, and she has done none of them. There we go. Great. We only have one parry, so we need to get two more parries in this phase, which is not easy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that was literally the worst possible start to the Calamaria fight. Okay, here we go. At least we get one parry to start the fight off with. No blowfish again. I'm actually going to hold off on attacking her, because I really want to get all three of the parryable objects in this phase. Good. Okay, cool. We're going into this phase with all of the parries and a super art. Yes. Super arts are great for dealing with the freaking eels. If we stand right up next to her face, she actually can't turn it to stone. We just gotta keep a very close eye out on the left side, otherwise we get hit by that. Finish that just in the nick of time. That fight is also up there for one of the toughest fights to S-rank. It's the reason why I equipped the Twin Heart, even though it massively weakens my attack power. Well, not massively, but it weakens it to a degree that you definitely notice it. Alright, the calm before the storm, Sally stage play. Alright, enjoy your lunch, Simpsons R.S. We might be finished with the game by the time you finish, but we'll see. Alright, Sally, I need you to cooperate with me and give me some parryable objects, please. Thank you. Definitely the toughest part of this fight is getting the free parries. Because Sally can just... Nope. The f you can only get parries in the first and final phases. And they are very hard to get in the final phase. So you basically just have to bait out free parries in this first phase. Otherwise, you're just not getting them. But the thing is, Sally can just decide not to parry stuff at you. No, dug on it. I'm trying to judge when she's going to run out of HP for her first phase, but it's tough. You really want her to open the fight up with the blow a kiss move, but it doesn't always happen, now does it? Alright, that's as much as I'm going to damage her for now. Okay, thank you. That's what I was hoping for.
Sorry, Sally. Whoops. Oh, come on! The lightning was not supposed to be on screen, then. Oh, thank you, Sally. Alright, now we hold off on the attacks till she gives us that last kiss. <laughs> I know, I pretty much never take a hit in that phase. <laughs> She's running off of her husband in a hurry. Strats. Her last phase is actually going to be kind of tough without the uh, crack shot or the chaser, which I usually take, but... There we go. I like getting to be able to take an extra hit <laughs> with, with uh, Miss Chalice. <laughs> Makes the S-Ranks a lot more manageable. Still, dying to Sally stage play is not a very... Actually, dying to her multiple times is not great. Still, though, we're making good time. This fight is a lot of fun to S-Rank with Miss Chalice. <laughs> This is a great one. I like the Phantom Express. With one or two exceptions. This phase is my least favorite, because his hitbox is massive. Oh, shoot. I was hoping to save a super art for the final phase. Darn it, that was not nearly as good of a super art as I would have liked. Oh well, that still works. That was a good Phantom Express. If I had timed the super art a little bit better, I probably could have gotten sub 130, but... <laughs> now we grab the final coin and go on our last shopping spree.
Because Nintendo Attic, you're playing in the daytime. My favorite shopping trip. <laughs> so satisfying. We saved all of the crappy stuff for last, because we don't need it. Alright, King Dice with the Cursed Relic. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright, let's see which ones give us health. Oh, cool! Oh, this is actually a great roll. Alright. That is not good. I really wanted to get number one. Alright, I guess we're fighting Mr. Wheezy. Who will take an eternity. Time for us to only get bad weapons. Well, whatever. That's a shame, because that was a really good roll at the table. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Alright. Here we go, we're fighting the Tipsy Troop, which is what I wanted to fight the first time, but apparently I'm still bad at timing the dice rolls. Take him out first. Darn it! Stupid cognac. Or bourbon, or whatever it is. Okay, this is a much better roll. We still have to face the tipsy troop with, uh, 1 HP. But I think we can do this. There we go. Take that, tipsy troop. Alright, this we'll need to focus, but if we do well, we can beat Hoppus Pogus. Alright, now we want to roll a two. Alright, this fight can be tricky, but if we've got this high-level Cursed Relic, we can do it.
Come on. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so we lost the HP we got from his fight, which is not great, but... Oh, yeah, he's very aggressive. But thankfully, we have the heart above the eight, which is great. Which means we can fight Magnesio. The eight ball is definitely one of the easier fights in the King's Court. Because pretty much no matter what weapon you get, it's going to be good at defeating him. Even the twist up, which is normally a joke, is pretty good against this guy. about, please. There we go. Goodbye, King Dice. All right. We died twice to that, but we died at the beginning, so that's a pretty good King Dice time, I'd say. Oh, we're definitely getting sub. We're definitely beating my practice time. We might even get sub 210 if the Devil Fight goes well. Because we now have the Divine Relic. Well, we're going with Miss Chalice for the final fight. Because spread is just the best weapon for the devil. <laughs> Alright, final fight. <laughs> and we finish the run. Uh, I will probably keep running this, but not nearly at the same rate that most speedrunners run. Devil to this day remains one of my absolute favorite final bosses. How could I not love beating up the actual devil? Alright, we need two more parries, and here's one already, and we need to avoid damage. Darn it! Oh! Alright, that was a really fast first phase. Oh, doggone it! I did the dodge roll, though! <laughs> Alright, one more parry left. Excellent. I'm saving this super art for the his final phase.
Because we definitely want to super art up our sleeve for the final phase. Darn it. We're not getting sub 210. I don't think we even would, even if I hadn't gotten hit there, but... Oh no. This attack is the worst. Although it's a lot easier to deal with if you have Miss Chalice. <laughs> The Devils have stopped appearing, which means he is ready to hop into his second phase. Okay, we dealt a lot of damage to him in that first phase, so his second phase should be over pretty quick. I'm actually going to hold off for a little bit, because I would really like to get another bomb parry in this phase. Oh, come off it! You shouldn't be alive. Oh, what? Oh, I hate the bats. The bats are the worst. Devil is a very difficult fight. Oh, no. Darn it. At this point, I'm just hoping for sub 215. Had enough, devil. His final phase is honestly really annoying, too, to do damage with. Especially with Miss Chalice. That's why you save the super art for the end. <laughs> and our final time is... 2 hours, 14 minutes, 35 seconds. Honestly, pretty good time. Granted, that is loadless, so the actual time was closer to two and a half hours but still the speedrun.org uh, or speedrun.com uses the load list time so yeah that was great that was actually surprisingly fun <laughs> yep I did the DLC levels first to get all the money from the Kings board and I didn't want to have to go back 
to the DLC aisle mo more than once. <laughs> hey, Sandwich! Welcome! Yeah, that... I'm honestly very impressed with myself on that. I, I'm not sure if anybody else has actually... I'm not sure if there's a category for this on speedrun.com. There's 300%, but just 300% is a lot easier because you don't have to do S ranks or P ranks. Actually, I want to I want to check this out while we listen to the King Dice uh, song in the background. Could be under miscellaneous, maybe. No. DLC plus base game, three hundred percent solo. Uh, no, again, this is just for, uh, 300%, not for... Dane! The top runner for f solo 300% DLC and the base game is 1 hour, 7 minutes, 18 seconds. I, granted, they didn't have to get the best ranks, but even so, like, that wouldn't cut back on a huge amount of time, I don't think. That is definitely fast. Well, Jason28090 is the world record holder for 300%. There are only five entries in 300%, which means I could technically submit this run and I'd be number six. Even though I did way more than I needed to. <laughs> wow. Is there any leaderboard for all S&P? Oh, what the heck? If the, the actual... Hang on. The any percent world record on just regular difficulty of the base game is 23 minutes, 16 seconds. How? Like, I know they're playing on the original version of the game where you can do the weapon swap glitch to deal, like, double damage, but even so, that's nuts. Yeah, but that was fun. That's actually a very fun category. Frustrating, definitely. Difficult, time-consuming, but definitely a lot of fun. I would definitely do more speedruns of this in the future. This is not going to be, like, a super regular feed. I'm not going to be like, every week, I'm speedrun Cuphead. It would just be like, hey, it's fun to come back here once in a while. I don't think I could ever be, like, a full-on serious speedrunner, because with the people who are like, I play the same game every day, all day, I'm just like, nope, that would take all the fun out of it. Oh, man, but that was good. I better make sure I save the, the uh, splits as well. Oh, I already have plans for the October streams. No need to worry about that. I already have next weekend's stream planned. And the one after that, and the ones after that. It's gonna be... epic. Alright, I am going to... save... well, hang on. Save the splits, or save... I guess, I guess I'll deal with that afterwards, but yeah! Cuphead all S&P, 300%. As far as I can tell, it looks like I'm the first person who has submitted a run in that category. I invented the category! If I speed, if I submit it, I might create a new category and instantly be the number one world record holder. And then immediately get beaten afterwards by people who are way better at the game than I am. But yeah, that was definitely a lot of fun. I also, in the future, may do all S&P 200% outside of the, uh... Outside of the DLC. <laughs> world record by default. That's my favorite. Guys, if you can't get the world record in a speedrun category, just make a new category and submit the first run. Boom! <laughs> and then, if you're lucky and, like, the game category becomes popular enough, you might make it into a summoning salt video. And that's the real prize. 